about somebody that's also biased. And Patanjali created a community to keep these truths alive and spread these truths to the whole world. He created a beautiful temple. How he experienced the cosmos. See, cosmos is not a thing. It is a happening. It is a continuous happening. So how he experienced cosmos, that is why he describes God as a dancing Shiva. Dancing auspiciousness. Cosmos is not a thing. It is an intense happening. Intense explosion. Intense expansion. So how he experienced? He visualizes Shiva and created a temple and a community. These are the truths straight from the source. There was no need for any alteration, manipulation or interpolations. Nothing is needed because nobody was funding it, fortunately. And nobody was threatening it. Neither fear nor greed existed in his inner space when he was doing this research and development and revealing the great secrets. You can see it came out of pure inner space. Still, the community which he created in Chidambar, the community accepts and follows him as a guru. They don't accept or take initiation from anybody else. They are called Chidambaram Dikshitas. Still, the community stays inside that city. They take a vow from the birth till the death. They live, they take birth live and die in that city. They don't go out. When I heard this, I was surprised. When I went and studied with them, I had a little time, I spent a little time with them. I was shocked. So they are all highly intelligent, capable people. But they decide their life is to keep preserve this truth do further research and development in this truth and maintain the temple, share this truth with the world, whoever comes there to study and do research and development. 